Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, guys. This is the full game, and this is part number four of our Let's Play series. Before we get into this, check out these two guys. Say hello to Mr. DJ Customs and to Chris, who have decided to join me for the intro of this video, and they are in some interesting cars. Anyways, let's get into the menu and see what we've got. So, we are still doing the prologue. We are currently at the end of the winter season. We only need 3,900 influence left to get the horizon spring season coming on. And we do have this all the way up here, the Flying Scotsman Showcase. So, what better way to start an episode than to race a train in into Edinburgh? Anyways, if you missed the last episode, I would highly suggest you guys go and check it out. It was so, so cool. We built this new wide body McCann with all of these crazy, like, off-road body kit parts on the thing. Go check it out if you missed it. It was very, very cool. If you've missed any of the videos that I've made over the past couple of days, I will link to them down below, along with both of the giveaways we're doing for the Horizon hoodie and the copy of Forza Horizon 4. You've only got a couple more days to enter, so I will include a link down or links down below for both of those, and you guys can enter in. Good luck, and you can get a copy of Forza Horizon 4, just like that. Uh, guys, since setting off, I'm already 2,000... Check this, I'm already 2,000 influence away from qualifying for Horizon Spring. Now the test is, can I actually make it to the Flying Scotsman mission all the way over there before we get to Spring? <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, there we go, more influence, we're 2,000 away! Oh, less than 2,000 away now, it just keeps going up. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna cut the corner. We're gonna we're gonna take the short line. Oh my god! Look at these roads. These road, or I mean, I guess we're not really using a road right now, but you know, it's still cool. <laughs> Through the water splash, Top Gear style, and away we go. All right, just come under the train tracks, take a right, and there we go. Look at that. We <laughs> we didn't get to the the uh, the spring season. Oh, we're close. We're 800 influence away. All right, let's do it. Solo, let's give it a go. Race the train into Edinburgh. Aerial Nomad versus the train. What is going on? There we go. The Flying Scotsman covered in snow. That looks so, so cool. All right, so Aerial Nomad versus the Flying Scotsman. Where is the train? Oh my god, it's fast in this game. I One thing I want to do, I definitely want to have some fun with the train. We'll see what we're able to do with it, but we're, we're definitely going to do some train stuff, racing the train, going inside the train, all of those good things. Uh, be on the lookout for that. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing, by the way? We've got so much cool stuff coming. I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos that I've been posting already because I've really, really been enjoying making them, and this game is just so cool. Okay. Turns out we are racing the train, like, literally, side by side. We can even crash into the train. That's so sick! We are racing into Edinburgh, trying to get into, I assume, the city center. At the end of last episode, we actually fell onto, on, like, the top of a train, which was very, very cool. So, I assume we're racing to there, but I'm not sure exactly. Look at this map! I'm seriously loving, like, the colors and the... And the weather, I know that's weird to say, it was like one of my biggest worries for this game was being locked into the seasons and stuff, but there's just, oh no, there's something special about it. Oh, we're gonna jump the train! There we go, looking sick! Straight through the smokestack, that's awesome! This aerial nomad is also so awesome, like, I can just, like, there's a road next to me, a perfectly good road. But when you are in an aerial nomad, you just sort of make your own pass. All right, we're already into Edinburgh. Welcome to Edinburgh. If you didn't watch the last episode, we went exploring here a little bit. We're nearly there. 10% left to go. I actually cannot see the train. I don't know where he is. I think he's underneath us right now. But I'm not sure. We're about to jump onto the finish line. There's 5% to go. There is the train below us. All right, we smash into the train. Uh, we've lost control. Come on, 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 and I fuck the line. A, a little bit of rubber banding in the in the showcase, but it's all good. We get the dub, 
And more importantly, we are finished with the Winter Showcase, and we are heading into spring. Another 16 grand from that. By the way, I have an insane amount of stuff to show you that I was gifted that I had no idea I was gifted. Qualified for spring. There we go. I'm loving it. That's so sick. All right, so let's go to the Horizon Festival and change over to spring. Actually, maybe before I do, let me show you what's going on with this. Okay, check this. So if I go open my cars now, I've gotten some cars from from wheel spins and stuff But uh, I was recently given this the Ford Transit Super Sport van This thing's actually a Forza edition and it's, it's very cool. We'll do something with that soon We've also got the Nissan Titan Forza edition and we've got the Pagani uh, That's the Zonda R Forza edition. I, I don't know when I got gifted those but that's really cool also, if I come to my message center, well, one, we've got eight wheel spins to do, but we've also got two super wheel spins to do here. Actually, we still need to customize our character because we've been getting quite a bit of, like, new clothes and stuff since we've started playing, and I'm sure with those wheel spins that we've got, we'll get even more, more stuff to put on our character, so... Maybe we'll do the wheel spins, then customize our character and see what we got. Oh, there we go! Seasons are changing! Achievement! Spring into action qualify for horizon spring Suddenly everything turns very very muddy and wet in good old Forza Horizon 4. Oh, that is so cool It just so happens that we're preparing for our huge spring showcase coming up and I'm looking for a driver to take part in it Okay, impress me out there and I'll see what I can do. Okay. All right, so we are 35,000 influence away from qualifying for the showcase event and We've got a lot of races to go and do on our map. We, we, we've just got so much stuff to do, it is insane. All right, welcome back to spring. Now my- Oh, I got another barn find rumor, hello! That is one of the barn finds that I actually found in our barn finding hunting video that we did. That's pretty cool. As I was saying, let's do those wheel spins, see what we get, and go from there. So, we've got some super wheel spins. The super wheel spins are the things where you got these three things going, and you get all three prizes. We're getting Jazz Hands, r Classic Running Man, and Roll It Up. Seriously? We have a super wheel spin, and we go three for three on emotes? God damn it. Okay. Let's see what else we get. I mean, our, our other super wheel spin went very, very well. Let's see now. We get a horn. A metallic tank top and a Mercedes A45 AMG. Eh. I'll say those ones didn't go super well. At least we've got eight normal wheel spins to make up for those ones. So let's see what we get. A Nova Sport. That will be a very, very good drag car. Okay. We get a Morris Minor. Hell yes, that will be sick. We also get a Ford Mercury Coupe. Okay. We're getting a lot of old stuff today. Interesting. Oh, that, that's not old. That's a Ferrari 599 GTO. Okay, that's pretty quick. We're banging these out. And we're going for a common t-shirt. Okay. We get 100,000 credits. That will help me buy another house. Thank you very much. We get 120,000 credits. One more wheel spin to go. And we are going to get, let's see, a... Yeah, well, you know what? I did want to come in and build another car because last episode we built this and to be honest This thing just won't work when we're driving it around or I mean it will work But there's better things that we could use in one of the previous videos. We recently were given a Lamborghini Huracan now I was thinking it would be fun to take the Lamborghini Huracan one check out the wide body kit two toss as much horsepower in it as possible and three just turn it into an absolute beast I mean we've got 800 grand to spend I mean we could have some fun with this thing so firstly we got to check out that wide body kit let's take a look it is a Liberty walk body kit oh that is cool that is so legit that makes this car so wide take a look at that like that's crazy. you can actually see the wheels they take a second to load everything in that's crazy. I'm sure as well. We've got yeah, we got a big bad rear wing. Oh wait We don't actually the Liberty walk kit is just a little lip on the hurricane or we can go with the Forza wing Which is not nearly as nice. Let's go with that. All right engine swap We can toss in the 
It's now called the Racing V12 with 700 horsepower, only 400 foot-pounds of torque. Interesting. We're all-wheel drive already, so we're fine on that. Add some twin turbos, and like I was saying, this thing's gonna be pretty quick after we're done with it. We need those race tire compounds. We got Horizon Race, Rally Tires, and Drag. I'm gonna go with my tire letters again, just because I find they look pretty cool. This is a wide-body car, so we gotta max those tire widths all the way up, because it doesn't really fit, if I'm honest, like, with the tire- Oh, whoops, wrong thing. Like, it doesn't really fit looking like that. You- you gotta make them super wide. 375s in the rear. That's enormous. And then other than that, this car is just gonna be fully upgraded. I want to make the fastest possible V12 car we got. So we got some different suspension. We got rally suspension. We even got drift suspension. If you want to go and drift a Lambo, feel free. We're gonna toss on race suspension though. I don't have any intention of drifting this thing around. We're already on nearly 200 grand of upgrades alone for this. That's a lot of money. We should get quite a bit of horsepower though from this. I don't actually know what we'll get. Okay, we're gonna end up with 1,200 horsepower in our Lamborghini Huracan. That is, that's pretty cool. That's interesting though. That's actually a different V12 than what we're used to. So that's the V10 that usually comes in the Huracan, but I swapped in a racing V12. Interesting. So how much money do we actually have after all of that? 670,000. Now, I've been talking about going to buy this house up here for a little while because we get three super wheel spins from that. So I'm thinking we should definitely head up there by the end of the episode if we get enough money. But I do want to go and take this thing out and see what we can do with this crazy 1,200 horsepower hurricane. So firstly, I want to know what this V12 is. I mean, it might just be like a generic V12, but it revs to 11,000 RPM. That's different, okay. So the V12 in Forza Horizon 3, there was only one proper V12 that everybody used. That thing could get 1,500 horsepower in it. This thing, though, is completely different. It's a brand new V12 swapped Hurricane. I'm finding it's actually very rainy in the spring season. It's, it's cool. All right, so this is the Lake District Sprint. Solo, we're still on the hardest difficulty. We see, we gotta see what we got. I still don't know what that engine is, but it's it's kind of interesting. So, I don't know what cars we're racing against, but I assume they are going to be very, very highly upgraded. See, we've got a Ferrari, some Aston Martins, some BMW i8. We're actually flying past the AI. I don't know if they made cars as fast as mine, but eh, I'm not complaining. In the previous episodes, we've been losing a lot of races, so uh, let's go. Let's try to try to actually win some today oh we've got two gtrs we've got another hurricane up there actually let's swing it past both gtr oh okay one of the gtr can you move yeah i mean when you have a thousand two hundred horsepower it's not going to be the easiest thing to drive around in that's for sure anyways i'm getting blocked by my own car now yeah they're definitely running quite a few upgrades Nobody's got body kits on their cars, though. Interesting. Also, look at this. Second place, bearing down on a Ferrari for first. 15% left to go. Come on. Come on. We don't have much. Is the 1,200 horsepower Hurricane going to take it in its opening race? Oh, I forget to shift. And the Ferrari's going to monster. There's no way you can catch up for that. That is... Yeah, that, okay, that was my fault because I missed my shift there. I was too busy talking. You can see they're actually upgraded, but no one's upgraded as much as me. Anyways, we continue to get some good money. We got to get back up to that 750k mark. We get some very good influence from that, actually. 4,000 influence. Uh, we are level 15 currently and doing pretty well. We are well on our way to that spring showcase. Okay, cool. Oh, I see on my map here, we've actually got a street race up ahead and... I can use this hurricane in street races, no problem. So, you know what? Let's give this a go up here. All right, so a nighttime street race in our stupidly quick car. Okay, we are going up against uh, cars that I don't think can... What? How? Um, what? Now there's two Pagani Zonda... Make it three Pagani Zonda R's in this street race. Well, um... Okay, oh, oh, okay. This race is a little weird. I don't know why we've got so much variety in the cars. Like, we've got fully built track cars in that Zonda R. We've got me, 
in a stupidly upgraded Lamborghini, and we've got a bunch of hot hatches. I don't know what I've done, but I think the game's a little confused. In case you didn't know, there's been a big physics change in Forza Horizon 3, and you might not feel it right away, but the main thing is, is it's gone back to like its Forza Horizon 2 roots, where power and all-wheel drive are no longer king. It's all about carrying speed through the corners, and, and, like, downforce, basically. Like, you'll find you'll have better results if you're using grippier, but in terms of slower horsepower. Less horsepower, I should say. Oh, DJ runs wide. DJ's gone! Yes! That's gonna be third place! I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch up to the guys up here unless there's a monster straight and I just happen to have more horsepower, but... Don't think it's gonna happen. I'm just not gonna get that lucky. The AI was very quick. The AI has crashed again! We're gonna take second! Hell yes! Alright, well, I didn't expect that to happen. Two AI wipe out and it allows me to go from fourth all the way up to second. That worked quite well. Yeah, look at the classes of everyone. It's a little weird. Oh, are we actually gonna- Nope, we're not gonna level up. Actually, though, if we do one more street race, we unlock the Nissan GTR R34. So, let's find another race for us. We've actually got another street race right up here which we definitely could do. Or we've got another like road racing series all the way up here. That circuit actually looks pretty good for our car. Things you didn't expect to see today. An off-roading Lamborghini Huracan with race suspension and a wide body kit. Yep, so here we go. The Moorhead Wind Farm Circuit. I like the sound of that. Oh, I'm actually in a speed zone. Didn't realize I was in a speed. Nope, I don't want to spend my skill points. Really, you make me buy it? Fine. I'll buy it. Hey, if we get that one, we get a normal wheel. Yep, you know what? Done. I want my normal wheel spin. Spin me that wheel. Get me enough money so we can buy that house. Hey, well, what? What? We actually have two more wheel spins? Where are all of these wheel spins coming from? We get a Civic Type R from that one. I genuinely have no idea where all of these wheel spins are coming from. Oh, we almost got one of my favorite cars. I mean, we do get one of my favorite cars, the, the 850R, but oh, the RS4 and the RS6. The dream. The dream. And a Mustang GT. Alright, from 2018. We didn't get the money, but eh, that's okay. Alright, let's give this one a go. I think this track will honestly favor our Hurricane quite a bit. We're just gonna need to watch out for running wide like the AI does through there. They take a bunch of themselves off. We're already up to 7th place. We really gotta try to control the horsepower on this. This thing is... It's a handful. To say the least, I think that's pretty clear. Revving to 11,000 RPM is just kind of crazy, honestly. I didn't expect to do that. It's like we're rocking an S2000 with a V12 engine, sort of kind. Or a, or a, a VTechy V12. Maybe that's what we should call it. It's the VTechy V12. Also, I may have made a massive mistake because this track doesn't seem to suit the Hurricane as much as I was hoping. I mean... I am on the back of a lot of these guys, but you can see first place is just run away. All right, final lap already. This is Hurricane v. Hurricane versus... I don't even know what the hell is in first place all the way up the road, but... I'm gonna try to catch up. There we go, the inside, inside line on the Hurricane. Get a nice corner exit. No! Yes! He braked! He braked! Yes! I don't know why I'm so happy about coming second place. But being on the hardest difficulty, it makes me kind of happy. So in, in first place, it was actually another Lambo. The Mercy Lago, that's another big V12. I mean, he could be running the other V12 in Horizon 4. The one with 1,500 horsepower, I mean, would possibly make sense, but I, I don't know. Anyways, look at that. We're actually level 16 now. We got a t-shirt. We are 5,000 influence away from... Our spring showcase already. I've never been so happy about finishing like a tutorial. Look at that. Hey, I'm actually already qualified. All right, it's time. I have a supposedly oh. impassable muddy spring road, a team of motocross riders, and an urgent need to see what you make of this. Meet me at the start line. Wait, 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 wait. I can't do anything else. I can't go and do the race that I wanted to do. Serious? Oh, fine. Well, I guess we're going to do that now, apparently. I think is the motocross thing that we've done a couple of times already. Yeah, that's that's even the same car, and now we're just gonna be against a bunch of motocrossers. Okay, that's new. That is pretty cool. 
We've got all the different colors of people. They pop their wheelies and stuff. I like how they even have a, a jump over there. I was just about to say, is someone gonna gum flying over that jump in, of course? Yeah, this is exactly the same thing that we've already done. I wonder, is, is it exactly the same route and everything? I'll be honest, it is kind of nice not having fast travel unlocked, because if I had it unlocked, I would just be fast traveling from event to event to event. And while I'm driving around, I'm like, well, one, experiencing the whole map, which is pretty cool. But I'm also, like, finding all of these influence boards and driving past houses and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's good. I've also heard that the house to unlock fast traveling is a hefty two million, oh, two million credits. So, uh, just, just make sure you save up for that one. Finally arrived, the Greendale Club Circuit. Okay, so, we are in the spring season, however... I do want to test this. If I go to set up a bl blueprint, let's do modern supercars, sure. Any class, sure. So, we're gonna do three laps, but I'm gonna chuck the race in the middle of winter. We're gonna have the race starting in the middle of the day. This should be interesting. We are about to take a 1,200 horsepower of- uh, I keep calling it Aventador. Hurricane in the snow. <laughs> and let's see what we got. So, although the part of the game we're in right now is spring, that doesn't stop us from driving around in the Great White North. Well, I keep calling it Canada. It looks like Canada, okay? Anyways, this race will probably be a complete waste of time because this car just will not work in these conditions. I found even for just like normal street races like this, you want to take like at least something with grippier tires than what I've got. I mean, I've got race tires, but you'd probably want some rally tires like the the temperature makes the ground have no grip and you just slide around everywhere. That is cool though, how you can be driving in one season and you're just like, nah, I feel like doing this race in this season and just like that, you're good, no problem. Anyways, I am in fifth place. A lot of the AI crashed on that first lap, so I was luckily able to get past a lot of them, but passing these guys with the limited amount of grip that we have, I don't know if it's gonna be possible. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got the I-8, okay. Up in a fourth with one lap to go. Fly it in, catching up to the... Is that an Aston Martin? I think it's an Aston Martin. It's the... Is that Spectre? Anyways, it's not very good in the snow. Rear wheel drive will probably do that to you, buddy. You want your all-wheel drive. Or is that the DB thingy? Or no, that's the... That's the new Aston Martin. The one that sort of looks like an S15 from the front. Anyways, can I get my hurricane friend? There's one corner to go. I don't think I'm gonna do it. They break! They break! Gaining! Gaining! Gaining, not gaining enough. Oh, man. Third place. That was a good race, though. Like, for something that I didn't expect to do very well in, that wasn't bad. I mean, to be fair as well, if I wasn't starting in dead last in every race, I would probably do a little bit better. Like, hey, we're back up to 750k. You know how we gotta end this episode? We gotta go buy that house. Man, spring does look hella good in this game like oh man it looks so sick all right so let's do it let's come into our new house it's called the castle view because i thought you could see the castle from here well 750k i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it oh it's so expensive but we get three super wheel spins all right i've purchased a new house would you like to set this as your home sure cool no problem and while we're here Let's finally do it. Let's customize our character. Oh, we are gonna make our guy look dapper AF. Except, we're gonna give him green wellies. <laughs> oh, shit! We could give our guy James Bond suits. Eh, or a chicken suit. I mean, we have the James Bond ones. That's cool. All right, boys. That has been some more Forza Horizon 4. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Make sure to subscribe for more. Like I've been saying, plenty of Forza Horizon 4 videos are on the way. I hope you guys are enjoying them. Do not forget to enter the two giveaways we're doing linked down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon with some more FH4. See you guys then. Bye!